Well, hello guys. How's it going? I'm glad to see you here this night. Um, I very much loved Kayla's video uh, on Monday. It was beautiful and well, well articulated. And it really hit the nail on something that's very important. We often forget to do things that were that are super important for us to do. Um, drinking water should be second nature because it's such a vital component of our diet. And yet we forget it. We do. We forget to drink water. Um, I've forgotten to drink water so to the point that I've been dehydrated and suffered from intense migraine for the day. So there's just this much left. I didn't drink the whole bottle, but I want to drink it in front of you and hope that we can cheers this water bottle together and drink it. Get out your water. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pause the video. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Time to get your water. Mm. Well, hello there. Glad you're back. Let's cheers. There. Now let's drink. <sighs> Better than beer. Um, okay, so my advice. Um, I would have to say probably portion control okay so second to or third to remembering to breathe and drinking water um, would probably be portion control um, okay let me break this down in two parts the first is that just because you are portioning your like intake of like fast food uh, doesn't necessarily mean that you're healthier um, so if you are still eating McDonald's or you're still eating Harvey's and I'm just picking at the large chain, you know, monopoly, monopolies. Um, so uh, all fast foods in general, I'm not saying McDonald's is the worst. I'm saying all fast foods in general. So if you're just still eating your fast foods, so eating your poutines and your pizzas um, every single day, but you're just eating less of them. You're not necessarily healthier than you were before. Uh, but also, take in mind that I am no doctor and I haven't studied, like, health. Um, this is just coming from my research. Um, so you're probably not much different off. You, to um, get healthier, to not necessarily lose weight, because you will lose weight if you're portioning your your food, regardless of whether you're portioning fast foods. If you're drinking less pop, you're probably going to lose weight. But to get healthier, you need to really revolutionize the way that you see food and the way that you eat. You don't need to eat McDonald's because there's a McDonald's that exists in Ottawa or in Canada or in America, wherever you are. Um, you don't necessarily eat, need to eat it because everybody else does. Um, you need to replace it with something just as delicious and just as healthier. Um, but if you choose to still eat McDonald's, it's fine. Absolutely. You just need to eat it way less. Uh, you can't eat it every day. You can't, probably can't eat it every week. You probably, if, you, if you're used to eating it every week, you might want to reduce it to like once in two months. But... You know your body better than I know your body. And if you reduce it once, and hypothetically, once in a month, you know, from, from every day to once a month, or every week, or once every two weeks to once a month, and you feel yourself getting healthier, go at your own pace is what I'm trying to say. Right? Go at your own pace. That is, that is the best can't force yourself and then you know everything goes to shit um number two if you have uh commenced your uh weight loss journey and you're eating much healthier but you're still overeating there's also a problem because I i'm not a psychologist or a doctor i've said this before but I believe that there is um, a correlation between mental health 
and our eating habit. And if you're associating your excessive intake of foods or under eating foods with how you're feeling, how stre- your stress level, your boredom, um, then that's probably not a good thing as well. It's just you want to feed your mind as well as you're feeding your body. And you want to separate the two. Um, of course, they're always going to merge and correlate with each other. So if you're eating healthier, you're probably going to be healthier mentally. But you don't want to be eating because you're... You don't want to be um, overeating or eating because you're stressed out or because you're bored or because you want to, you probably want to be eating because you're hungry or because you need to be eating to sustain yourself throughout the day so you need to eat a certain amount um whatever you think is good for you but like a certain amount during the day or something okay and uh yeah that's, that's just my that's my advice portion control try to portion out what you eat um make sure that you're eating like a good amount a day um make sure you're not under eating you know yourself eat to sustain yourself don't overindulge to the point that you can't walk don't gorge on food but don't not eat either eat 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 and it'd be good be good <sighs> okay me's 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 i'm trying to say me thanks that's it ciao ciao see you next week